these not for sale copies are kind of rare. Hi, this is Takashi Inohara from Jazz Blues Japan. Yes, today I just want to feature some not for sale uh, copies of Blue Note by the King Record. And talking about the King Record, uh, many of you guys know that um, you know GXF series, GXK series, and the K18P series. I think those are the series uh, which are popular for many jazz collectors in the world. But today, not for sale copies are DY series. And this series, DY series, is not known for many jazz collectors, especially outside of Japan here. Uh, I have a sample here, which is this. Yeah, as you can see the jacket design, this is the Yuta Hip Quintet. And the serial of this not for sale copy is DY uh, 5806 1. Yeah, that's the, you know, the serial of this not for sale copy. And King Record produced, manufactured, including this one, Yuta Hip Quintet, five titles in total. Uh, one of them is, um, you know, Am I Blue? Uh, Grand Green. And the second one, Leo Paga, Let Me Tell You About It. And those two titles were given, you know, as a bonus for those customers who collected coupons for K18P series. And, um, you know, the third one is, uh, you know, at Blakey, at Cafe Bohemia, volume three. Uh, I have a sample here, which is this. Yes, uh, as you can see the jacket, you know, this is the <laughs> at Blakey at the Cafe Bohemia, volume three. You know, at that time, you know, in the early 80s, um, King Record, I think, were the first company to issue, not reissue, issue these unknown sessions at the Cafe Bohemia in the 50s, um, uh, which I think is also very interesting, you know. So it's like, um, you know, Blue Note unissued the Master Series by the King Record at that time, you know. This is one of them, you know, un un unknown sessions at the Cafe Bohemia, legendary Cafe Bohemia sessions. Yes, uh, and yeah, this is one of the, the, uh, the Y series. And this, the Y series, the bonus was given to those who collected the coupons for the premium reissue series by the King Record. Yeah, I talked about the you know, premium reissues by the King Record many times, right? I did a sound comparison and everything, and uh, uh, those titles, uh, those series, I think all of them are very, very good in terms of the, you know, the quality of the sleeves and uh, the sticker thing and, um, and the sound quality as well. Everything, I think, is very, very good, you know. So I think, you know, King Record at that time wanted to make um, a kind of, you know, benchmark you know, what they did at that time, uh, reissuing and also uncovering those unknown sessions at that time, uh, which I think is, yeah, I, I feel, you know, proud as a Japanese and uh, I just want to congratulate those people who were involved at that time, really did a good job, yeah. And, okay, uh, back to the <laughs> conversation with this particular copy uh, at Blakey at the Cafe Bohemia, Volume 3. Uh, the sound quality, let me tell you, very good, you know. It's just amazing that um, they did everything perfect. Sound quality and also the pressing quality, of course, uh, is very good, spurred. And yeah, I think this is also one of the rarest copies uh, among those, you know, the Y series you know, not for sale series. And the fourth title um, for the Y series is uh, a kind of, you know, various artists in a compilation album. Uh, I think, um, yeah, K23P series. 
I think um, they did a kind of um, compilation thing, you know, for the Blue Note classic uh, recordings, especially the, you know, from the 40s up to the 50s, I think, they just, you know, collected uh, some rare titles and compiled them as K23 P series. And that DY uh, compilation album, not for sale copy, was given to those who collected the coupons for K23 P series. And um, the last one, the fifth uh, copy, is the Utah Hip Quintet, which I showed you right now, right? And again, uh, that was given to those who collected the coupons for K18P series. You know, King Record at that time, uh, they reissued, they reissued, you know, K18P series uh, for the second time. And for that second time reissues, uh, they gave out that Utah Hip Quintet as a not for sale uh, copy to those who collected the coupons of K18P series for the second reissue uh, series. So those are the five titles, you know, they produced and manufactured as not for sale copy as the Y series. Okay, uh, yeah, the Y series, you know, apart from that um, compilation album, uh, which I uh, said the fourth title that they manufactured as a not for sale copy. Yeah, all of the, you know, copies are very good, you know, the sound quality, pressing quality, everything is just, yeah, to me, perfect. Yeah, they did a good job anyway. So that's it for today. That's the uh, history and, um, and behind the scenes story of the Y series by the King Record. I hope you like it. And I always appreciate you guys for supporting us, doing business with us. And of course, I'll keep praying and wishing you guys, family members, co-workers, everybody to be safe in this, yeah, persistent pandemic situation. God bless you and love and peace from Just Plus Japan. Thank you for watching today and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.